Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Farm Together 2, okay? Y'all, let me just start off by saying I got this game last night, right? It came out for early access on, what was that, the 8th or the 9th of May. I got it last night. I played it for like 45 minutes before I went to bed, right? I got a feel for it. But then this morning, I got up and baby i'm addicted okay baby i'm addicted <laughs> i played for like four or five hours this morning and i i like i don't want to stop so today i'm going to be showing you a brand new farm i'm going to be taking you through this tutorial and then i'm going to show you the potential of what you can do in the three to four hours on my farm that i already started working on so let's get right into it so whenever you first get to this menu you're going to see that you have your farms you can join a farm you can customize settings and exit right so when you first get into the game what i didn't know until way later was that you customize your character first so i already have um i already have started customizing her so you get a whole body shape slider, which either makes you more masculine or more feminine, or of course in between, right? For a non-binary. And then we have a weight slider. So you can be a little chonky. Oh, oh, my bad. You can be a little chonky or you can be really skinny mini, right? And then height, of course, you can be dommy mommy, dommy daddy. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go ahead and you can be medium. Or you can be a, sh a short little tot. We love to see it. Okay, and of course, we have all of the skin tones. Nice range of options. Even not skin tones, right? I love it. I love it. I love that they there was a shade for everybody. And it was giving. I really, really, really like. And then of course you can change your hair color lots of hair color options let me just show you like this you have a lot of options okay you have a lot of options and i really 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 like that so what option was i using this one yeah and then of course eye color same thing and i really think that they did really good with the colors like they're very 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 nice and then of course you can change your outfits uh you unlock new things as you play the game so some of these might not be unlocked for you yet and then of course your facial structure and then what type of hair that you want And then, of course, there are some locked behind a uh, level. And then, of course, we have our lovely facial hair. I think they did really good with all of the options in the game, if we're being, like, completely honest. And then, of course, glasses options, if you would like them. And then, of course, you unlocked different piercings, which I thought was really cool. Different types of piercings. Thought that was awesome. Freckles beauty marks and of course our good old wrinkles and then different little backpacks all right so now that we've customized our character let's get into the tractor you can also customize your tractor which also has different colors we love versatility so i finally got my tractor the way i wanted it but it does have two sets of tones two colors we love that and we love like i love how there are so many colors and then of course you can change your license plate my favorite license plate of course oh i just got a new type wow okay so that's that's what happened this morning i love that and then you can add like a little a little pendant like a little thing i love that i can't wait till i see the heart the heart's gonna be really cute all right so let's get into it now so let's do play 
Okay. Hold on. You're also your progress does save. You do not have to like do anything fancy. Okay. So you have the option between an online farm, an online farm private, and an online farm public, right? Which I thought was really cool. And these options can actually be changed at any time. So we are going to do Mush Meadow, of course. We love Mush Meadow. And we're going to start a new farm. Oh, you can rename your farm also. And then whenever you get friends, you can give them permissions on what they on what you want them to do, which I think is pretty freaking cool. Is it going to just send? OK, there we go. Welcome to Farm Together 2 tutorial. Follow these steps and you'll become an expert in no time. So right off the bat, the colors are amazing. Oh, it looks so good. First of all, we need to learn how to move. You can move around with WASD. Also, during this tutorial, I am also going to be using mouse and keyboard as well. Just so like uh, y'all can know how well it runs with a controller. I personally main an Xbox controller. Cool. Next thing is using the camera. You can change the camera distance with C. So right now they have three distances, y'all. We have the nice, you know, very wide angle. We have the super close up. And then we have just a little bit far back. I personally like playing like medium. We're going to plant some lettuce first thing we need is to plow some land okay cool so we're gonna go ahead and plow that land great now you need to choose what you want to plant you can open the shop with Q and check all the items available there so we're gonna press Q and then of course they wanted us to get some lettuce Plant the lettuce in the plowed land by walking over there and pressing left click. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Perfect. You can exit the buy menu by pressing right click. Crops take a while to grow. You can speed up the process by watering them. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to water. So if you hold down click, you can actually water faster then it taking you out of the like fully out of the animation and then you having to click again. Time advances even when you're not playing the game. If you exit the game and come back later, you'll probably find some items ready to harvest. Oh, that one harvested. You can move most items to create some space. Go to the well and press Z and choose its new placement and press left click. So we're going to press Z and we're going to just bring it with us, right? I say we move it like in a nice in between area. So we're going to move it right here. You can change the orientation of buildings, fences, etc. while placing them. To do that, press Z before placing the item. Okay, so whenever we have, whenever we are in Z and then we're going to press Z again so you can change how it moves. You see that? Beautiful. Crops should be ready to harvest soon. Once they are ready, harvest them with left click. So I'm just going to show you all with this. Cool beans. Oh, we do have more stuff to harvest over here. We'd love to see it. I'm 
I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest everything just in case. Oh, we love that. Lettuce is level two. Same thing with like the watering. If you if you keep the click, I'll explain it whenever we get back and we actually start plowing stuff. But basically, if you hold click or hold, I believe it's uh, a young controller. You can do more than one action while you're standing in a plot and it makes your life so much easier. Carrots level two. I also really like that the music is like really relaxing. Go ahead and water these bad boys. Since there's only two of those left, I like to collect everything at one time. So we're going to leave those. It's a personal thing. Go ahead and get those chicken eggs. Also, uh, as you can see with the little uh, animation that comes up whenever you uh, like harvest something. So I'm getting $20 for the eggs and then uh, some experience as well. I love that. All right. It's time to go to town. Go to the town by pressing M and choosing travel to town. We're going to press M. We're going to press travel to town. Welcome to town. Here you can open shops that will sell the resources you harvested. There are also some quirky characters that will give you requests from time to time. Let's open a vegetable shop. To do that, go to the available property near a building and uh, press left click to interact with it. So we're going to go ahead and you have options. So you see these signs here. Those are the available spots and you can set up your little stand so let's put our stand right here facing the plaza beautiful you can go back to the farm by pressing m or interacting with the bus stop so now see now you for selling 10 of these you get five of these so i mean we're gonna be selling for a while right so we might as well He has a quest for us, Charles. In my travels, I've tried lots of things, but few can best the taste of a simple apple. Can you spare a few of them? So we don't have any apples right now, but we will soon. That's perfectly understandable. And you want all of them to yourself. <laughs> also, when you press M, you can see who has quests for you on the map, which I think is really cool. So we're actually going to turn around just in case and see what this person wants. Hey, don't run away, please. This heat is making me hungry. I'm up for an omelet sandwich, but I want some quality ingredients. So I sold my, um, oh, no, I don't have any wheat. So let me show you about the stuff on the farm. Okay, so whenever you go back to the farm and you're going to plant stuff, let me just show you this little tip right here. So whenever you go and you press when you're ready to get a new crop. So in the top left corner, it'll show you what type of crop that is. And so whenever I'll show you on the other farm too, on my one that's a little more expanded than this, each crop has a different little icon. And so you don't have to like specifically have wheat, like each vegetable and fruit goes into its own category and that's like super cool so just like you don't need wheat you know what i'm saying but you can have wheat but it counts as wheat which i think is freaking awesome we're gonna go ahead and just replow 
All right, seasons change every 17 minutes. They limit what crops you want. And trees may give fruit when it's a specific season starts. So now we're going to go and harvest trees. Also, another little cool tip. You can move all of your stuff around. So you can press Z and you can go ahead and you can collect them all. Like when, and you can just keep pressing Z. So we're going to go ahead and while we have them, we're just going to move all of the apple trees over there to that little area so that we can make a cute little orchard. So just press Z on all the little apple trees that you want to move around. And then you can bring them all over here and then it'll show you in the bottom left hand corner. You see how it says you have queued up six and now you're moving all six of them instead of moving them one by one. When I found that out, it saved so much time and energy and I was so happy. Also, I just need to add while I'm doing these trees. This game is not Steam Deck verified, but honey, it runs so well on Steam Deck. It's not verified yet, but it is 100% playable on Steam Deck. And it runs so smooth. When it does become Steam Deck verified and they do some more updates, I can only imagine how much more that they can do like it, it's it's gonna oh, it's already smooth but oh i can only imagine we're gonna move these ones over a little bit because this is a different type of tree there we go all right so now let's harvest our apples Quests are specific requests that you can fulfill to earn uh, medals. You can check every quest and progress on the quest log available on the escape pause menu. So I'll show you after I collect all of our apples. So here is our quest log and it'll show you everything that you're looking for so whenever you do have more quests they'll show up here we need a little more lettuce so we need 20 lettuce okay we should probably plant some more lettuce i like using this big pasture over here So you're going to hold down and then you can water at the same time and then move to the next tile water so that you don't have to double back. You just keep holding click down and you'll be able to do everything at the same time. Uh, it's so satisfying too. I really like the sounds in this game as well. It sounds really, 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 really good. I mean, we might as well go ahead and plant a little bit of everything. Who knows? We might need it. I love a game that'll reward you for having a variety of crops and you not just having to harvest just one. But I think they did really good. After I finish planting these, I'll switch to controller and I'll give you all the feedback on the controller as well. Okay. 
So let me turn on the controller. Ooh, that's really smooth. And there's vibration when you walk. I love that. I love that. It has a little bit of rumble. It's less whenever you're on like paths. Also, I'm the type that gets motion sickness pretty quick in games from using a controller. I don't feel like I don't feel anything at all, which I love that. Very, very, very responsive on controller. Very responsive on controller. Like, yeah, I've played it on my Steam Deck, but I haven't gotten to play on PC too, too much. And very, very, very responsive on controller. I like it a lot. I cannot say it enough. This game is really, really, really good. And for it to only be in early access. So yeah, disclaimer, it is only in early access. So anything that you're seeing in this video right now is subject to change over time. But for this to only be in early access for now, it's really, really good. I highly recommend that y'all give it a chance. Oh, give it a chance. You have to. We are just waiting on five more lettuce. And it's almost done. It has two minutes. Well, we might as well go turn in a quest. Oh, hold on. Do my chickens need to be fed? They do not. All right. Somebody wanted something. Was it you? Yep, stuff for a sandwich. Excellent. The sandwich is going to look so great and taste even better. Love that for you. And we have the apples for Charles. Mmm, delicious. You've made my day. Uh, love that. No problemo. All right, before we sell anything, let's go back to the farm. How much time do we have left on these? A minute and a half. Okay, cool. Ooh. So this stuff can be harvested. Gather some roses. I like that the game isn't just crops also. You have flowers too. Oh, I love flowers. Go ahead and harvest these potatoes. Also, you can recycle tiles. So you in this mode, you press B in the other mode you'd press x but so you're gonna press b and then you're gonna press a then you can recycle the tile and it'll get rid of it and put your grass back so i'm gonna use this area probably to make a cute little flower garden instead of um planting crops over here i might even ooh, i might even put the well up here that'll be cute yeah and same thing like whenever we move the apple trees you can move these around as well so let's go ahead and do that we're just gonna move them down a little bit cute then we're gonna grab the well and we're gonna bring it over here Oh, because it's a four by four. Okay. I have it turned the wrong way. Oh, I still didn't turn it the right way. 
It's fine. I wonder what it would look like if we put these around it instead. I start getting real creative. Usually I'm not very creative in farm sims. Like I kind of just randomly put stuff places. But this game makes me feel like I can actually decorate. And it'll be cute. Let's kind of make our bus stop area look a little better. We can put this like next to the bus stop. Oh yeah, that brightens up the place. Heck yeah. A level up. We're now level three. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, and we might as well water this stuff while we're here. I also know another trick. Whenever you have stuff that needs to be watered on both sides, you can hold down the action button, and then if you stand in between them, you can water both of them. Another super cool trick. And of course, that's just before you get your tractor. I haven't even, yo, we haven't even touched the basis on the tractor yet. Y'all are going to be like, dang, this tractor's the bee's knees and is. The tractor's awesome. Now you can build a garage in town that will grant you access to your tractor and work faster. So let's go ahead and run to town and get that tractor. All right, let's put the tractor. I think I want to put it right here. Yep, tractor store. Beautiful. The garage. Beautiful. You can now hop onto your tractor by pressing left trigger when you're on your farm. And what is it? It's V whenever you're on a uh, mouse and keyboard. So cool. So also, each shop has an upgrade requ requirement. So whenever you get to like farm or medallion level two, whenever you get two medallions and eight apples, you can upgrade the garage and the same with this. This one, you need 2,500 and eight wheat, which isn't bad at all. And then it'll start giving you more money um, for the crops that you bring. So let's hop on that tractor. Uh, beautiful. While you're using your vehicle, you can work on several tiles at the same time. Nine tiles, guys. Nine. Okay, but let's just replant what we need for now. So we need corn again. No, I lied. We need lettuce and potatoes. We're going to do lettuce. See how much faster that is? Uh, love it. And then we're going to do potatoes just to have some versatility. And usually I do like to make it like uh, two rows of each thing to make our lives easier. So let's just see it. Cool. Now you can perform tasks much faster. The tractor consumes fuel, which slowly regenerates over time. There are also buildings like fuel depots that speed up full recovery. And that's all for the tutorial. If you want to get more help, check the how to play section in the settings menu. Okay, so that's the tutorial. And then it just lets you run free. So let me go back and show you my farm that I've been working on. Just so you can see like a little bit more. Um, there we go.
It's so nice to just be able to get it all done. So after you get your tractor upgraded some, it makes your life so much easier because you can, uh, being able to do this many plots at a time is the bee's knees. And also if you hold down trigger, you can automatically, it automatically moves in a straight line for you. And I like to hop off my tractor when I'm not like doing a full lot just to make it easier. Also, you do eventually get pigs. Go ahead and feed them. Oh. I can show y'all how to do, uh, fencing. Because why I did fence in my pigs? I don't know. I will say, though, they didn't go anywhere, so that's good. They really just stay on the land that you, you know, make for them. You also eventually upgrade and you do get pine trees. And this is the fuel depot they were talking about. So now I've added that much more fuel to my tractor. And also you can pick your pine cones. And also on this farm, I moved the, um, I moved the bus stop over there and I put my house up here because I thought it would look cute. What did I need for this? How many? 25. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hop back on your tractor. And you need something with an eggplant shape so you see in the top left corner of this fruit i mean of this uh vegetable how it said you needed like an eggplant to upgrade the house so now we're just gonna plant some carrots because that counts as a little eggplant type type vegetable Easy. All right, now we gotta go check on, uh, for this quest, I need, uh, hamster chickens. So I mixed and matched some chickens over here, but I might want to make these chickens into their own coop. Yeah, I'll probably have to move them into their own coop, but you do get another type of chicken as well. Also, every time you walk up to a border, you can expand your land. So I can only imagine, I like I said, I didn't play farm together one, but I can only imagine how expansive your farm can get. And that's so exciting to think about. Usually I get overwhelmed with too much space. But this game just makes you feel like you can you could take on like anything, which I actually feel like is kind of nuts. Beautiful. So these have 10 more minutes. awesome so yeah that's the end of my little video i just wanted to show y'all a little bit of the tutorial show y'all a little insight on the early access and also show you the potential of what can happen 
when you start really getting into it on your farm also see what i was talking about you can you can do a little design like that and then this i made me a little orchard and i made a little sitting section look at that look at that how cute i love it i love it it's a really cute game again early access i will put the link to the steam page and if they are selling it anywhere else i'll put the link of that in my description if you like today's video please don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys later bye also before we go the main question i asked was was the game worth it 110 percent currently the game is on sale for 17.99 usd and it is 100 percent worth the price so get yours now